Hi everyone. Our lesson is understanding elementary shapes. That is chapter number 5. In this lesson, today we are discussing about angles. four directions. We know north, south, west, east. If we start from north, if we start from north, first, then east, then south, then west, last reaches at North. That is completed one round. This is called the one revolution. Once more, start started. Once more, started from north, then east, then south, then west, at last the north. This completed. That is this completed one round. This is called one revolution or one revolution is what is round. This is 360 degree. Is it clear? One revolution equals 360 degree. One revolution equals 360 degree. Each part equals one degree. That is measure of angle. That is Angles we measure in degree. One complete revolution is 360 degree. That is one revolution equals 360 degree. One part equals one degree. Half revolution equals a straight angle. Here half revolution. Here see this is half revolution. This is the Full revolution, that is one revolution. This is half revolution. That is north to south. This is half revolution. That is half of 360 degree. That is 180 degree. 180 degree, that means a straight angle. Okay, then 1 by 4 revolution equals. That is... 1 by 4 revolution. This is 1 by 4. That is north to east. This is 1 by 4 revolution. That means total 360. 1 by 4 of 1 by 4 of 360. That is which angle? Right angle. 1 by 4 of 360 degree is a right angle. This is a right angle. That is 90 degree. Once more, one complete revolution. Once more, one complete revolution is 360 degree. Half revolution is a straight angle that is 180 degree. 1 by 4 revolution is a right angle that is 90 degree. Okay? See the terms. Complete angle equals 360 degree. Straight angle equals 180 degree and right angle equals 90 degree. Here, complete angle equals 360 degree. Straight angle equals 180 degree and right angle equals 90 degree. We can see such revolutions in clock faces. When the hand of a clock moves from one position to another, it turns through an angle. Suppose the hand of a clock starts at 12 and goes round until it reaches at 12 again. That is one revolution. This 12 starts at 12 then goes round reaches again 12. It made one revolution. That is 360 degree. Okay. See here. 
This is one revolution that is 360 degree. Start at 12 again reaches at 12. This is made one revolution. Here this made one revolution. Okay. In this picture that is face of the clock. The hand is what is the angle between? Is it here? See, this is half of one revolution. Half, this is full revolution. This is half of revolution. Half of revolution means a straight angle. Here formed a straight angle. A straight angle. Half of revolution. Here, this is full or one revolution. Here, one, this here formed is 1 by 4 of 1 revolution. That is a right angle. That is a right angle. Here formed a right angle. In this figure, in this face of the clock, here 10, here 1. What is the angle? Here see, this is 3 by 4 of a revolution. That is 3 by 4 of 360 degree. That means, that means 3 right angles. 3 right angles. So, this is 1 revolution, 360 degree. This is a straight angle. This is 180 degree. This is a right angle. This is 90 degree. This is 3 right angles. That is 3 by 4 of 360 degree. 3 right angle. 3 into 90. Here, this is 1 by 2 of 1 revolution. This is 1 by 4 of 1 revolution. This is 3 by 4 of 1 revolution. Or, 1 by 2 of 360, 1 by 4 of 360, and 3 by 4 of 360. Dear students, you have learned in 5th standard, classification of angles. Classification of angles means the different angles. How can we name the angles? Listen here. See, this is here an angle form. This angle is called, what is acute angle. This is acute angle. Acute angle. This is called acute angle. That is less than 90. Less than a right angle. Less than 90. That is acute angle. Here this angle. This is called an obtuse angle. See here this is greater than 90. Greater than 90 is called obtuse angle. See next here angle. This is, this is a right angle that is 90 degree, 90 degree, this is a right angle. Next is, here, see this, here the angle formed. What is your name? What is the name of the angle here? That is, Reflex angle that is greater than 180 degree. Greater than 180 degree. Reflex angle. Greater than 180 degree. This angle is a reflex angle. Then here. What is the angle here? This is a straight angle. This is called straight angle. Then here formed. What is which angle here formed? This is also acute angle. Acute angle. So we can see without measuring we can say the names acute angle, obtuse angle, right angle, reflex angle, straight angle. Here also acute angle. Right angle means 90 degree. Straight angle is 180 degree. Reflex angle means more than 180 degree. Okay. Acute angle means less than 90. Obtuse means greater than 90. Okay. 
these are the classification of angles let us study the types of triangles types of triangles types of triangles we know this is a triangle it has three sides and three sides and three angles 1 2 3 3 sides and three angles this is called a triangle then types of triangles which are the triangles on the basis of their sides and angles we can name triangles first on the basis of sides how can we name the triangles first one is see this this is a triangle three sides and three angles three sides and three angles here this is 3 cm this also 3 cm the third side also 3 cm that means the three sides are equal so the triangle is called this triangle is called or these types of triangle is called equilateral triangles equilateral triangle that is equi means equal lateral means sides equilateral triangles then second type say this okay say this triangle the two sides are equal these two sides are equal the third side is not equal suppose this is 4 cm this 4 cm this is 6 cm so this type of triangles is called isosceles triangle isosceles triangle isosceles triangle then third type here two sides are equal then third is the three sides are different equally not the three sides are different in length see here this is 3 cm 4 cm 6 cm suppose 3 cm 4 cm 6 cm so these types of triangles are called scalene triangle scalene triangle so these are three types of triangles we named on the basis of their sides here three sides are equal here two sides are equal here no sides are equal this is equilateral triangle this is isosceles triangle this is scalene triangle in this one important thing here all angles are equal here all angles are equal these are the angles how many angles three angles in equilateral triangle all angles are equal next in isosceles triangle that is second type here the two angles are equal two sides and two angles are equal that is an isosceles triangle in third type the three sides are different and three angles are different that is scalene triangle okay this is an important property of triangles now let us characterize the triangles on the basis of their angles first one is if the angles of a triangle are acute angle then it is called acute angled triangle see here all angles are less than 
that is called acute angle acute angle with triangle acute angle triangle see second one is When we are seeing this, we can understand this is which type of triangle? This is a right angle to triangle. Here, a right angle to triangle. This is a right angle to triangle. So, this triangle, that means one angle is right angle or here 90 degree. One angle is 90 degree. So, this is called right angle to triangle. Right angle to triangle. One angle is 90 degree is called a right angle to triangle. Then third one is. See this is. Here. In this triangle one angle is greater than 90. That means obtuse angle. Here this triangle is called obtuse angle the triangle. So, here we characterize on the basis of their angles. First is acute angle the triangle. Here all angles are acute. Here right angle the triangle. This is here 90 degree. Then obtuse angle the triangle. Obtuse angle to triangle means here the angle is greater than 90 or obtuse angle. So this is obtuse angle to triangle. This is obtuse angle to triangle. Types of triangles on the basis of their sides and angles. Sides. Sides and angles we can classify. See, on the basis of their sides, the first is equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle. Then is, second is isosceles triangle. Second is isosceles triangle. Third is scaling triangle. Then on the basis of their angles, classify into three. First is acute angled triangle. Acute angled triangle. Then second is right angled triangle. Right angled triangle. Third is obtuse angled triangle. Obtuse angled triangle. Okay, these are the classification of triangles on the basis of their sides and angles. Okay, then solve some problems. <laughs>